everyone, welcome to Raw Synergy TV. I went to the farmer's market today and I got a ton of beautiful tomatoes and so I thought I would make a popular raw food dish of zucchini pasta. It's super easy and it's really delicious and I just want to go ahead and create it for you real quick right here. I already have some beautiful zucchini noodles already prepared here but I'm going to show you how an easy way to create these noodles with uh, my handy Titan peeler here. You can get these at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're really great. Uh, they usually come in a two-pack where you get a, a regular peeler, like a potato carrot peeler kind of peeler, and then there's this peeler which makes the special noodles and you just run it along your zucchini like that and you get these awesome zucchini noodles. Now you can also do this with your food processor. You can run your zucchini in the food processor with the grater and you'll get a smaller, a much smaller noodle. They won't be quite as long like a traditional pasta noodle. But it'll still be delicious and if you prepare this for your guests they'll be really surprised. This is always a recipe that goes over really well, especially with non-raw fooders. So you just want to create your noodles and then once you have them all down, then I'll go ahead and create the sauce for you and I have a... I think there's probably about three and a half or so cups of tomatoes here, maybe a little more. I'll put those in there and then I have about four ounces of celery and celery is really high in lots of good vitamins and minerals. Celery has is high in riboflavin, B6, panathenic acid, it's also got calcium in it, which I was surprised. I just learned that today. It's got 44 milligrams in that 4 ounces of celery. So I thought that was really great. Uh, I'm going to put in about 2 ounces of red bell pepper. And if you don't have a Vitamix, a Vitamix is so great. It's one of the best blenders on the market. I'm going to put in a few leaves of basil, fresh basil. Basil is delicious. Now this is going to make a lot of sauce. So I'll have plenty left over. And I have some sun-dried tomatoes that have been soaking here in water. I don't know if you can see that without me pouring water everywhere. But these have been soaking in water for about a half hour or so. Um, you can soak, there's four of them, and you can soak them for 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, it's always a little better to soak them a little longer so they get nice and soft. And then most traditional pasta sauces have a lot of sugar in them, and that's what makes them so yummy. Um, but since we're making a really healthy raw food creation today, I'm going to add the sweetness with some pitted medjool dates. I've already taken the pits out. I'm going to put these in here. And this just adds a really nice sweetness. Now, the tomatoes are already really sweet because they came from the farmer's market and they're super fresh and delicious. But uh, if you like your pasta sauce a little sweeter, like I do, I like that added sweetness, which makes it really yummy. Uh, so you're going to add some dates in there. And so we've got tomatoes, celery for the saltiness. You want to add some saltiness to your pasta sauce. We've got the basil. We've got the dates for sweetness. And I think that's all. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so this is going to be a really nice, rich, thick sauce. Oh, it smells amazing, and it's super thick. So I'm just going to pour some over the noodles here. 
And you can leave it in the Vitamix a little longer because uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Vitamix, it will actually heat stuff up. It, will, it can actually get stuff to a boiling point, which we don't want to do that because then that will ruin the enzymes and the nutrients in the, in the food and it will no longer be raw, which that will be defeating our purpose. So you can get it a little warm. You know, you can get it up to like 110 degrees if it's it's winter right now and, and you want something really, you know, a little bit warmer and cozier for a meal. And um, otherwise you can just do it real quick in a blender and have it be a little cooler for a more cool meal. But this is so yummy and delicious and it's sweet and the tomatoes, everything. It's so packed with vitamins and minerals and nutrients. It is the best meal and it's so good for you. And this meal is not as high in calories. Actually, there are not very many calories in this meal at all. So this meal you'd want to do when you're when you've gotten plenty of calories in the day and you just want a little something more savory and delicious, then you can go with this meal. Um, the dates have some calories in it, but um, probably not enough to uh, get you through your through to the next meal because this is going to digest really fast. You'd have to eat a whole lot of it to really satisfy you. So eat a lot of fruit first before you do this meal or eat it when you've already consumed a lot of calories in the day because on a, the low fat raw vegan diet you gotta get your calories in remember plenty of calories for energy and vitality and motivation and uh, so give this one a try and enjoy it this is so amazing it's so so good you guys have got to try this and you can twirl it that's the nice thing about these noodles is you can twirl it onto your fork and eat it like traditional pasta. Mm. So good, you have to try this. Mm. 